had no idea that this was how the Summer of Wonder Road Trip to the Rockies was going to start, but we are starting in a tropical rainstorm, so thanks God. We are on our way here in a minute. I'm still in the driveway. I am soaked to the skin, but this is how it starts. And I am psyched to say that my very first road trip started just like this on a very last day of torrential rains and it turned out to be the most transformational trip of my life. And so I'm really hoping this one goes similarly. Hi, my name is Beth also known as Bing. My sweet girl Lexi's in the back seat along with half of our belongings. And we are leaving today from central Pennsylvania on a month long road trip through the Rockies. Part book tour, part vacation, part just super fun explor exploration. This is my first day on my vlog. It's going to have lots of weird mistakes in it because I'm just not gonna have a lot of time to edit. So I hope that you will check back every day. I am taking my book, There's Wonder Around the Bend. It's an inspiring guide for solo road trippers. And I am taking that, this is my book tour. So I'm doing a bunch of stops on my way out west or out west. And then really though, this is about living out what I write about, solo road tripping the just wonder of that and just the beauty of that and the excitement of that. So every day I'll be sharing little bits and pieces of how the day goes. You'll hear, you'll see the beautiful things and the cool things and whatever strikes me. But I'll also check in with you and just let you know how I'm feeling because I know sometimes people worry about all of that when they are trying to plan, like how does it really feel or what is really hard? So I want to share the good and the difficult with you along the way. Um, so not an ideal start, but it's about to get better. Okay, we made our first and only stop before we really get on the road. And this is something that we've been doing since the very beginning. So we start a road trip with Starbucks and a pup tub. So Lex, Lexi, do you want your pup tub? Cheers. So mid-afternoon now, quick update on our first day in that we have traded in monsoon weather for sunshine. So that is a good thing. I literally was so wet that three hours after we left this morning, I stopped to get out and stretch my legs for a minute and realized that I was still completely soaked and had to change my clothing. We had to start anew. The other thing I wanted to comment on, here in, we are in Western Ohio, on our way to Indiana. It won't be long before we are there. So happy about that. This is my least favorite type of driving. So Lex and I have been on the road for about seven hours now, and we have been on the Pennsylvania and Ohio turnpikes solely. And they suck. They're perfectly good roads, especially the Ohio one. But there's nothing to see. It's so boring. And when people say they think about road tripping and this is the part that's boring to them, of course it's boring. So this is where I say, this is not road tripping to me. This is just getting from A to B. And for me, this is an integral part of my trip this summer because my trip is really happening in the Western states. And so I'm spending as little time as possible to get there until I feel like that's where my trip really starts. So friends, all I have to say is get off the highways and don't expect that the highways are gonna be your amazing road trip situation. No, it's not. It's not. All I've seen today are there's a lot of corn, which is fine. I love corn. Um, a lot of trucks. Terrible weather and then beautiful weather. And um, yeah, a lot of construction. So highways suck. But we are almost to our destination. And I am pretty psyched about it. We're going to Indiana, just over the border. Be there about half an hour and it'll be a new place for me. Anything new is exciting. So it's new, it's fun, it's gonna be something different, and I will look forward to sharing with you. Day one. 
coming to a close. Well, at least it's supper time, and all the work is done, which really didn't take very long. Tent successfully put up. Dinner done. Yum. Hey, day one, and it has been successful. We got exactly where we needed to be. We made good time. Everything's working. We had a good hike slash walk. And now we're just chilling. So Lex and I are just chilling here around the fire and I'm reflecting a little bit on our first day, which, you know, like I said before, none of it's really about the highways, the travel. That didn't do anything for me except get me where I needed to go. But this is a really funny little unique place where I am. It's called Camp Sack Inn and it is just an old fashioned campground where a lot of the families who are here have permanent spots um, with their own um, landscaping and signage and I'll post a few pictures in my um, in my blog and on my Instagram so that you can see what it looks like more um, but it's very quaint and cute and everybody knows everybody so everybody knows that I'm here just for a night um, I just met this lovely lady named Sue I'm expecting her back any minute she went to get me some firewood she said she wanted me to have some more firewood and she is a widow and she used to come here with her husband and now she comes back on her own with her own camper. And so we chatted a bit about solo road tripping or just solo travel and she was awesome. So it's just, oh, here she comes. I have to show you her little get up here. Okay, this is Sue. She's got a red, white, and blue deal here. How cute is that? This is Sue, my new friend. Okay, so Sue blessed me with enough firewood for the entire weekend. So Lex and I are gonna take some with us tomorrow for our next stop. So this is perfect. So thanks Sue in her red, white, and blue golf cart. So before I shut down completely, I have to share something that Sue just told me that just sort of puts the ribbon on the whole idea of you know, seasonal people coming and spending the summer here. And people who've been coming here for decades and their families have been coming here forever. And um, she told me, I said, do you stay for the summer? And she said um, that she was going home on Sunday. She'd been here all week. And, but she needed to stay um, for the karaoke contest tomorrow night. And that that was really important and that there were some really good people that were going to be doing karaoke tomorrow apparently last week the karaoke was not good and the people who sang were bad but this week is good karaoke so i'm a little bummed that lex and i will be in wisconsin by then but um yeah so who knew karaoke in the middle of indiana so i think we're going to call it a day it's still, it's almost nine o'clock, but because we're on the far western edge of the eastern time zone, it is still, I don't even think the sun has fully set yet, and it's almost nine, which is pretty good in the middle of August. So um, we're gonna enjoy this fire and relax, and so happy that you guys are here for day one of 30 some of our Summer of Wonder, road trip to the Rockies. Tomorrow we get back on the road and head west to Wisconsin. See you then and see you on the road.